Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I finally have my new releases for the month of November. You guys, I have been, <laughs> you like my nails, um, debating back and forth of what I wanted November to be. And then I got into the mood of the cold because um, at nighttime, LA has been getting cooler and cooler. And I'm like, you know what? I'm like, let's do cold season theme especially since it's november and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys by then will have snow at least not here in california maybe unless you're in big bear but even then it's like nothing uh so let me go ahead and get started i also will have um new doodle formats and um an a5 daily doodle kit so let's get into it so let's start with the budget kits so the first one is gonna be the calendar bundle this is the only bundle that i have on my website this comes with all the pieces that you see together and it's also being able to purchase a la carte which means you can buy each piece individually so the first one of course is how the calendar will look look at that you guys let's zoom you guys right in it is blue it has pumpkins it has coffee it has chocolate it has books all the things that i love <laughs> because that's who I am. I like to snuggle up, read a book, drink some coffee, spend my day that way. Then we have the expense trackers to go along with it. It's a lot of blue, you guys. A lot of blue. <laughs> Just because the kit is blue themed. So we have the color slate, sky blue, deep aquamarine, and then the pumpkin peach. These I literally pulled out from the graphics right over here. And then um, the build do sticker to go along with it. So it's a very like cold. Like To me, this like it's cold weather. This is what it is. Like, I just want a cup of hot chocolate. And that is how my kit <laughs> came to be. So, um, you can get this in the 2020, 21 version, the 21, 22 version, and then also a five plum paper size. So, in case you're interested in any of those sizes, that is what I have. Now, a lot of people ask me what's the difference between the 2020 and the 2022 version. Um, the 2122 version only comes with this washi up here, which covers the graphics all the way on the top. Um, and the 2221 version is not as big as this that, that needs to be covering um, all the graphics, but it does come with bottom washi because some of you guys have colorful Erin Condren's and in the bottom you guys get those strips of color, so you do get bottom washi, so that's the difference. But anyway, that is the um, calendar kit right there. Next, let's deal with the washi. So the washi is going to be like this nice coffee um, scenario, like this marbling background with the coffee and like um, flower decor around it. Then we have blue right here. This is like pine cones and leaves and little clusters with the blue. It looks, it's supposed to be blue, but it comes out a little bit like grayish blue purple, but it's fine. I'm going to call it blue. And then the... Um, small washi that has the samples of everything with other small um, washi solids so you guys can just combine it and make your kits cohesive so these are gonna be the washies for November and don't worry I'll show you how that'll look in my planner in case you're interested now let's move on to the functional add-ons you guys so we have the weekly check-in we have the savings tracker we have the sinking fund tracker we have expense log we have the debt tracker and then the transaction log so very blue very kind of pastel as well but still dark dark colors with blue so those are the um, functional add-ons and then of course we do have the paycheck budget sheet so we have november paycheck one paycheck two all the way into paycheck five and rollover so that'll be all up in the website and as you guys can see it's like this dark navy slate color with very light um blue font and deco so that is the budget kit and before i move on let me just show you how that'll look on the planner so this is how the november 21 22 version will look on your erin condren planner right here super cute as you guys can see the whole entire graphic is covered up i mean you will see some peek throughs because that's as best as can do it but this is how it'll look it does come with like the washi the date dots and it does come with event labels right here in case you do have some events going on you can go ahead and stick those on there and of course you can put some um bill dues and this can fit like in your life planner or your monthly planner it doesn't really matter um i will say though this calendar 
does not fit the Happy Planner Classic. I know a lot of people ask me and it does not because the Happy Planner Classic has different date formats. So if you want to use it, you would have to do sticker surgery. So that's the only bad thing about the Happy Planner that the date situation is like reversed, I think. But that's how the monthly looks. And then this is how like, if you choose the budget sheets, this is usually how it'll look depending on what washi you choose. And then if um, you want to go ahead and do the functional add-ons, this is how the weekly kit will look with the blue slate color right there. So yeah, those are some samples that I can show you. And now let's move on to my new formats, you guys. Well, actually, let's just continue on with the same color theme. So as you guys know, I do do A5 um, kits. So this is gonna match the Daily Duo kit for the theme of November. And this is called um, kit number three, sheets A and B. So right here, you do have your um, date covers and date dots. And then here you have your e event labels and you can buy these a la carte as well. So you can buy these separate or you can buy multiple sheets of the event labels right over here. And these are in matte removable paper because I know when you plan in your daily duos or just like a life planner, sometimes you want to be able to remove and put down stickers. So that's why the A5 Daily Duos are in removable matte. So yeah, that matches the November kit. So that's how that'll look. And then for the fun of it all, this is a project that I've been working hard on because um, I've been in my rings planner. If you guys haven't checked out my planner, planning channel, I'll link it up in a card above, but I want to reformat my doodle stickers and change the paper quality. So everything that I had in my shop was premium matte sticker paper. However, when I'm working with my ring planners or my life planners, it's very hard to remove stickers, especially once they're glued down with my kind of quality paper. So I moved all my doodle stickers to removable mat and I changed the sizing. So now they're like these cute little thingies right over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down right there. Um, these are gonna be my new doodles. Um, these are like the sizes of a business card. So um, I just brought back my most popular um, stickers for my doodle section and I made them tiny and compact so it can fit my ring planners in case you're like a ring planner and they also fit like inserts and of course you're a regular um sand by nine planners but look at that you guys look at that so this is doodle number sheet one and it's iced coffees so you, i think you guys always get this on one of my freebies from my shop so that's doodle sheet number one then we have the laptops so this is sheet doodle number two the laundry one this is also very popular so this is number three this one is by far, I think, the most um, bought one, which is the Happy Mail one. So that is sheet number four. Um, and then this one, I actually reformatted. This was my um, happy birthday sheet. And then I just kept the cakes and um, presents because I felt like those were like the, the icons that I needed the most every time I would plan. So yeah, here is celebrations, doodle sheet number five. The eating out because I'm such a drive through person. So this is doodle sheet number six. And then I actually also reformatted my cleaning sheet and I just made it to wash dishes. So this is washing dishes number seven because I did have a couple requests just to have the soap and the sponge um, on its own. The car icon, this is my favorite um, doodle sheet to use in my planners just because I want to mark whenever I'm running errands or just going out with family. I like to use the car icon. So this is doodle sheet number eight. Now that I have school, this one is becoming very important because I do have deadlines. And then it's also nice to write deadlines for my shop. So this is doodle sheet number nine and it's called important exclamation point. So that's that. And then my favorite scripts and just my popular scripts on my shop, I also made them into little, these little tiny doodles. So this is doodle sheet number 10 and doodle sheet number 11. So work and to do are my most, most, most popular bought um, sticker sheets. So now you guys can have them in removable mat and they can fit in your tiny little planners. And of course, because of my cat, I have um, doodle sheet number 12. I use this a lot, especially when I'm dealing with my cat Bean, especially when I need her um, to go to like 
um, her grooming session, her vets, or I need to pick up like cat food or litter, I have this. And this is actually her little paw, but you can use this for like your any pet that you have. So yeah, those are the new formats for my shop for my doodles so make sure you check it out in case you're interested they are now in removable mat and it makes me so happy and then of course don't forget that i have the a5 daily dual kit if you're like a memory keeper life planner scenario and then of course my budget sheets so i hope you guys enjoyed this new releases very blue <laughs> i love it and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.